going on over here? Okay, boys. <laughs> this is what happens when I'm trying to make dinner. You guys are roughhousing. <laughs> Just like little kids in the background. <laughs> Distracting me when I'm trying to cook dinner. What are you doing, Marley? I see you back in the <laughs> Better get back to my dinner before I burn it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I gotta get back to making dinner, Mazzy. Yes, I do. I'm gonna burn my dinner. Okay, you guys sit down. You guys sit down. <laughs> How does he always know when I'm about to turn on the camera? How do you always know? <laughs> Excuse the um, loud motorcycle in the background, guys. There's a main road. As many of you know, um, we live on a main road, so you can hear the traffic in the background. He's like, don't go up there, Matt. Don't go up there. <laughs> Sorry, Miggy. But Sorry. So mad I'm ignoring him. He's so mad I'm ignoring him. I want to thank everyone for their um, nice comments um, on um, saying how good the yard has been looking. We still need to um, plant some grass seed here um, where they where it's this is where the boys would leap off to go out into the yard so it's kind of tore up. Plus it's tore up from when um, we did some we pulled out old bushes and did some new landscaping and replacing the deck and this step here so we need to get some dirt and grass seed fill this in and then I told my husband we could use that fencing there back there in that trailer we could um, fence this off so the boys couldn't go down this way um, to allow for the grass to grow <laughs> because if I just put dirt there and grass seed they're just going to tear it up going up and down the stairs. So we'd have to somehow block it so they couldn't walk on it. And then they could just go down the steps over there or they just fly off the deck anyways. So it don't really matter. Um, but need to do that still. But I appreciate all the nice comments on how nice the yard is coming along since we've moved in. I really appreciate it. Um, so it's already after dinner. It's 6.30 already. And I just started filming. <laughs> I just started filming um, for my video. I didn't realize when I said I'd do a Monday or do a video Monday through Friday how much work it's going to be and the thought process of picking up the camera and videotaping throughout the day. <laughs> today was a pretty, a pretty busy day. Um, the boys were outside a lot today playing because um, it wasn't too hot out today. So I had them outside while I was organizing. A couple closets in the hallway by the bedrooms downstairs and organizing my bathroom because I'm trying to um, make it easier to see what I have. I'm trying, I don't know if I've talked about this yet in a video, but I've been trying to build up a three month food supply and three month um, dog supplies, <laughs> food for them. Um, doggy shampoos, whatever I need for the boys. I can't with medic. Well, I do. I do have a couple months worth of medication for Bozzy, but, um, and I'm trying to build up a three month supply of like hygiene products that we use. So I was going through all my stuff cause I kind of just throw it all in there. Everything looks nice and neat. 
um, just at a glance in the house, but if you open up closet doors, <laughs> it's not so pretty. <laughs> so that's what I've been working on today. Um, was getting all that organized so I could see what I have and then I made a list of things I need. I need to start purchasing every now and then to build up that three month supply because you guys, I don't want to get too much into the politics of the world, but let me tell you what, things are crazy and it isn't just from COVID. <laughs> it's not just from COVID. Things are crazy just in the world general. Um, and I watch these videos on Facebook. I'm trying to not watch the news as much as possible because it's just constant negativity, constant negativity. Um, and it's just, just started driving me nuts um, to where my anxiety was just through the roof. I just can't watch it anymore. I mean, I still stay up on top of the news, but I just don't sit there and watch it all the time. It just, it can just bring you down, let me tell you. Um, but just the way the world is right now and the hate in the world right now, um, I don't know how to explain it without getting too, too into it, but it just freaks me out a little bit. And I want to make sure that I have three months worth of food, three months worth of anything we may need. Um, to get through if something happens. I don't know what that could be. Um, I have some thoughts in my mind, but I'm not gonna say. <laughs> but after the whole COVID um, thing first started in the pandemic shopping, um, I remember I was out shopping, just a regular grocery shop, and just seeing people just filling their baskets, just hoarding, and I kept thinking, what is going on? You know, I mean, I knew about the COVID thing and all that. I mean, it was in the news and stuff, but to see that. And then the next day I went shopping, all the shares, or the shares, the shelves being bare, the empty boxes all over on the ground, the food just everywhere. It was scary. And um, just to know how fast things you may need are gone overnight out of the store just really freaked me out. So I've really been organizing, making space for extra product in the house. Um, that's what I've been busy with the past couple months, thinking of things we may need. I've been stocking up on canned white chicken um, in water for the boys. If God forbid, I can't find chicken anywhere for them. I've been stocking up every time I go to the grocery store, getting a couple extra cans of that just to have, just in case. Um, it stays good for a couple years, so um, I'll st if, if things don't go crazy, I'll still have it for the boys. Um, I'll still use it. Um, it's very low in fat, so um, yeah. So that's what I've been doing. I don't know if I should. Sh I don't know if I really should be sharing this or not, but. Um, let me get, let me know if you guys are doing the same thing I am. I'm sure there is. Cause I've seen a lot of talk of it on Facebook of people doing the same thing. Um, just trying to be more prepared, I guess. Just trying to be more prepared that I've got what I need for at least three months, um, in the house. If something goes horribly wrong in the world. <laughs> so anyways, I've rambled enough. I think about that. Um, but I'd really like to know your guys' thoughts on that. Um, if you're doing the same thing as me, stocking up on things. Um, anyways, yeah, so that's what I've been doing all day today. And I thought when I was cooking dinner, I was like, oh my gosh, I filmed nothing for today's video. Nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. <laughs> and it started stressing me out. I'm like, well. And then the boys started acting their crazy, silly selves. And I'm like, there you go. People love when the boys are acting their crazy, silly selves. I do. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what's been going on today. Not much. Just busy doing some organizing. The boys played outside a lot today. Um, I think tomorrow I'll share with you guys. Um, a lot of people want to know the amount I'm feeding the boys of the homemade, how I'm doing all that. And I think I'm at the point where I'm comfortable to share that. Now, some of the ingredients and things um, people may not agree with, 
but I'm going to go ahead and share it because a lot of people want to know. Um, like I said, this is just for my boys. This is what I'm doing for my boys. That doesn't mean it's right for anyone else. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's over there? <laughs> Sometimes I don't even think they know what they see. But then most of the time I'm wrong. And if I look hard enough, I'll see a squirrel or something darting across the branches. <laughs> They know what they're hearing. Oh my goodness. They're so cute. I can't remember what I was talking about now. Oh, tomorrow I think I'm going to share that. So, like I said, this is what I'm doing for my boys. It may not be for everybody else's dogs. So, and the weights, the amounts I'm feeding may not be for everybody else's dogs either. Everybody's dog is unique um, in their size, weight, um, and their health so but I think I feel comfortable enough to share that now tomorrow so I think that's what I'll do tomorrow I'm gonna stop rambling I'm so tired you guys <laughs> I'm so tired I know I'm rambling so I'm gonna get off I'm gonna let you guys go for the night and um, we'll see you guys again tomorrow all right guys bye bye